Hi friends and welcome to my YouTube channel where today we will be doing a tutorial on the crochet star stitch. For today's tutorial you will need your choice of yarn, crochet hook, scissors, and a darning needle. I will be using Lion Brands 24-7 cotton and a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. So to start, what you will need to do is you're going to have to create a slip knot. Chain two. And work 27 foundation single crochets. Let me move this out of the way a bit. So to work a foundation single crochet, you will chain two, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through one loop. This creates the bottom of your foundation single crochet. You will yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. That is your first foundation single crochet. So to create the next foundation single crochet, you are going to place your hook through that bottom of the stitch you just created, yarn over, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through one loop, again creating the bottom of your foundation single crochet. Yarn over and pull through both loops. And now we are going to just repeat that all the way across for a total of 27 stitches. I'm going to create one more working in the bottom of the foundation single crochet. Insert your hook. Yarn over, pull up one loop, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, and pull through two. So I now have 27 foundation single crochet stitches. So. The crochet star stitch is worked in a multiple of two plus one, so any odd number of stitches will work for this pattern. But for the purpose of this tutorial, I am doing 27 because I will be making more of these washcloths. So once you have your foundation single crochet set of stitches, what you're going to do is you are going to chain two, turn, and then to create the first star stitch, what you have to do is you are going to be working in each loop separately of that first chain that you created. So first I'm going to insert my hook into the back bar of that first chain, yarn over, pull up one loop, and then I'm going to insert my hook into the front bar of that chain we just created, yarn over, and pull up a third, well, a second loop, but now the third loop on my hook. Now, working in the first single crochet stitch, you are going to insert your hook, yarn over, and pull up a loop, and then you're going to come across into the next single crochet stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop. You now have one, two, three, four, five loops on your hook, and we are going to pull up one more loop on the next single crochet stitch so that you now have six loops on your hook. You then will yarn over and pull through all six of these loops. So you've now created the first star. To finish off, what you need to do is you have to yarn over, pull through this last loop to create the eye of the star. So now to create the next star, and this is what you will re be repeating across the whole way to create all of your star stitches, is you have one loop on your hook, you're going to insert your hook into the eye of the star, yarn over, pull up one loop and then you're going to insert your hook into the last bar of the star stitch. See all these loops that we created? So you're gonna insert your hook here into this last bar, yarn over, pull up one loop, and then you're going to insert your hook into the last single crochet you picked up for that previous star stitch. So insert, yarn over, pull up one loop, and then you're going to insert your hook and pull up a loop in each of the next two single crochets. This again will leave you with six loops on your hook. Yarn over, 
pull through all loops, creating your next star, and then close it off by yarning over, pulling through that last loop to create the next eye of the next star. So here you go, you have two. Okay, coming to the end of my row, I'm going to show you again how we create a star stitch. So you're going to insert your hook into the eye, you're going to, and pull up a loop, you're going to insert your hook into this last bar, insert your hook into the last worked single crochet, insert your hook into the next two single crochet, so that you now have six loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all six loops, yarn over and close your, your star stitch to create the eye. So here we go, we're going to create our last star stitch and I will show you how to finish off this row. So one more time, we have one loop on our hook, we are going to insert our hook into the eye, yarn over, pull up one, insert our hook into this last bar, yarn over, pull up one loop, insert our hook into the last single crochet here, and then insert our hook into these last two single crochets, pulling up loops in all of those. And we now have six loops on our hook. Yarn over, pull through all six loops, yarn over, and create the eye of the hook. Now, to finish off this row, what we are going to do is create a half double crochet, crochet stitch in this last worked single crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook, yarn over, Pull up a loop, so you have three loops on your hook, yarn over, and pull through all loops, and that creates your final half double crochet. So this is your first row of star stitch, and now what we're going to do is we have to work back across. So we're going to chain one, and turn, and then we are going to work one single crochet in the half double crochet. We are going to work one single crochet in the first eye. Now, working all the way across, you are going to work two single crochets in each eye of each star stitch. Okay. So I just placed my last two single crochet in the last eye and then you are also going to single crochet in the very end of this star stitch as well. So that will give you your 27 single crochet stitches again. To begin your next star stitch row, you are going to chain two, turn, you are going to insert your hook into the back bar of that first chain that you created, yarn over and pull up a loop insert your hook into the front bar, yarn over and pull up a loop so that you now have three loops on your hook. You are going to insert your hook into the first single crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, insert your hook into the next two single crochets, yarning over and pulling up loops in both. So that now you have six single crochets, um, six loops using the chains and single crochets on your hook, yarn over, pull through all loops, yarn over, and close your star. So that creates the first star in the row. That's the only one that's different from the rest of them. So showing you again how to do a star stitch, we have our first loop on our hook, insert your hook into the eye, yarn over, pull up one loop, insert your hook into the first bar, yarn over, pull up one loop, insert your hook into the last worked single crochet, yarn over, Pull up one loop, insert your hook into the next two single crochet, yarning over in both and pulling up a loop in both so that you now have six loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through all loops. So for the last stitch, we have one loop on our hook, we will insert into the eye, yarn over, pull up one, insert one, insert to the, into the last bar of the last star, yarn over, pull up one, 
insert into the last worked single crochet yarn over, pull up one, and then insert into these last two single crochets, pulling up one loop in each yarn over, pull through all six, yarn over, close the star stitch with the eye, yarn over, and create a half double crochet. And as you can see, the pattern is starting to form, and what you would do now is you would chain one and turn, work one single crochet in half double crochet, work one single crochet in the first eye, and then work two single crochets in each next eye. So again, here we are coming to the end with our last two eyes, working two single crochets in each one. And then finishing off with one single crochet in the top of the last eye. So no matter how many stitches you are using, you always will end with an odd number of single crochet stitches on this row. You would then turn and continue working your star stitches all the way up, alternating with star stitch rows and single crochet rows, and you get this beautiful pattern. Once you work your desired number of rows, you then would just cut and finish off. Well, this is the back of the star stitch, which is, it's still pretty. You could still somewhat see the pattern, but the front is definitely prettier. This stitch has some great stretch to it, but it's also fairly dense depending on the yarn and the hook that you choose. I originally designed this pattern in Lion Brand's Re-Up. This is that washcloth that's in my photos. It is quite old, it's been loved, but it's, it's still in pretty good shape. Um, the stitch definition on both is beautiful. I actually like how the 24-7 looks better than the Re-Up, um, but again, both are beautiful. I hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial. Please make sure that you like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time with another new tutorial.